we're looking at, you did a nice job of, of describing this in the way we want to lay it out. It should be dy dx plus something times y equals something with respect to x. So this is going to be my p of x, 1 over x, and this is going to be my q of x, which looks like a pretty nasty q of x, doesn't it? Looks like that's going to be pretty impossible, but it's not. It's actually going to be pretty good. Formula for the integrative factor is e to the integral of p of x dx. And I'm going to derive that for you today. It's not that bad. It just looks terrible. So uh, this will be equal to e to the integral of 1 over x dx. And what is the antiderivative of 1 over x dx? The natural log of x, log base e of x. What's e to the log base e of x equal to? x. Now how interesting that the denominator, 1 over the denominator variable, is actually my integrative factor. You'll see that frequently. Okay, so then we do the d dx <coughs> i of x or the y iota is equal to iq. So then you substitute in your i of x, which is just x, y times x equal to, now here's where I give you some good news. Canceling one of those x's is going to make our lives a lot easier. Of y times x equal to natural log of x over x. We're going to integrate both sides. And what's the derivative? Uh, and a derivative of the derivative of yx. yx. So you're going to get y times x. Now here, if u is the natural log of x, what's du? What's the derivative of the natural log of x? 1 over x dx. And we have that. So this really turns into u du. What's the antiderivative of u du? u squared over 2 plus c. Did they give us a point for this one? No. So then that's OK. So then we'll just have y is equal to ln of x squared divided by x. So you divide by 2x plus c over x. I just divided everything by x. And is this the answer that you folks found? Yeah, that's what it should be. I don't know why it's different in the answer book. Yeah, Eric. 